See, because if she hits this, then you can just auto queue it, right? And try to last hit. Nice try. Uh, Normally, I stop my auto attacks and I try to last hit. Press B real quick and buy a pink. Right. This is a debate point because this delays spikes a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it. Early pinks are OP in the jungle. If you can afford an early pink, this is my like invade practice that I've been doing in my games with my goofy Trinomir pick. So like these early pinks are really, really impactful when you know roughly where the enemy jungler is and you want to just kind of confirm or just want to block their routes. So you're going to just, okay. you're going to go chickens, work your way up and take the recall. You should be assist ping your bot lane and then assist ping in the tri bush down low because they're not leashing you, right? So you want them to yeah. go and pressure their lane. Like, they, well, look at them. They're jerking off at blue. So you want to ping them to like, right yeah, yeah. Ping them, make them go somewhere or try to. That proves that, you know, most players are on autopilot because you weren't even going anywhere near blue and they're just standing there jerking off. Like it doesn't. Now look, they're about to get a kill because you pinged. Literally pings. Go red, 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 red. Focus up, focus up. Now Graves goes down to bottom. So what I do is I start going across to your left. I save my smite. So kite to your left. Yep. See how Graves is pathing to bottom like the Terminator? Keep your eye on him and how long that play goes. Because, okay, so we're going to go to his wolves next. Okay. So, see, he's still up there. So, you, oh my god. Okay, so now you're going to take only his blue. So, use the plant, the plant, and go to his blue and kite it up. Put a regular ward in this bush or at the, the like, the intersection below you. That's perfect. So, you're just going to kite this up. And then, because the reason why we're doing it this way is because he can technically just run to his blue here. And we don't want to get caught. So, go ahead and take the blue and just leave and go towards uh, golems now. Yep. You can actually gank top. The thing is, you, you're going to have to wait till minion's low. So, like, kind of just pop in when the minion gets low and make sure this guy doesn't die. Now, E wants you. Yeah, walk up, walk up. You got to get the XP. You just walk at him. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can... Uh, careful, it's a Gwen. Careful, 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 careful. That's not the fight you want. Just let her... Just eat the wave. Just chill and eat the wave. And now go to Golems. Now she back down. Now make sure when you start Golems, you kite up and out to the left. Kind of kite towards this, but okay, EOA, yeah. And you're gonna have to, okay, nice, Mike. Cool. And you could try to take the, okay, just take a recall. Press B, press B. You're gonna buy your boots. She, he's, if he dies to this, he's got some, no, it's okay. Wait, what? You should be recalling, though. I don't know why you care about this. Okay, okay. Because, like, it's just, it's goofy fighting. Take take uh, boots boots boots. You're going you're going Triforce rush here. So use your E and let's go down to wolves. Okay. You're getting too caught up in what your teammates are doing instead of becoming a carry. You need to understand we're trying to beat Graves and carry the game. So Graves is way behind, and if you just farm here, you get huge. So okay. take your wolves, take your Gromp, and then we'll go to Scuttle after. Okay. I would actually go to Scuttle next, even though the pathing's awkward, just to make sure that Graves isn't taking it. Because I don't want to drop the Scuttle for no reason. So save your E and go to Scuttle. You're fine. Graves is top. So you're going to, you're going to say, you're actually, you're going to smite this when it gets low and then go to his chickens. E to his chickens. E to his chickens. See him top? Yeah, yeah. Go take his chickens. Yep. Kite down. You're always kiting. Put a regular ward in this bush to your left. And then put a pink ward in the bush below you. And you're going to see why pink wards are OP here in a minute. Yep. And then go to golems. You're not on vision, so you can just take golems. Yeah, throw your W down. And then uh, smite this because you're going to gank bottom. Now, it's important that you, you don't E right away. You can just kind of ghost up to them and then E towards the end of the ghost. And that'll give you a lot more power. So just E. There you go. Good. You gave her a chance to flash too. That's cool. Now just go into your bot side. Or if you want to chase a bit, you can, but it's a little unlikely that yeah, there's any. Wanna... Yeah. Now you just take your blue, you take your gromp, and then we're gonna recall. Use that All that right. uh that platform next time and then E to blue. 
Okay. With the platform? The the vision, the scuttle that you secured, that's what I mean. Because it oh, gives you move speed. Movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're pretty much in really good shape here to just kind of scale up. We don't have to do anything fancy at this point. You should check mid, though. That guy's real pushed up. Okay, so he kills your mid laner. Does TF have TP? Because I would smite this, and if he doesn't, yeah, I would go hold the wave. Smite it, smite it. So you just move quicker. Yeah. You should have smited it at okay. 6. Because you want to catch this wave, see? Okay. You just want to, like, get the XP. Now, just get behind tower and recall. Don't do it on vision, though. Back up a bit. Okay, Grave shows top. He might have taken your chickens there. I don't know. But either way, uh, I want to get... So you're brushing Triforce. So go sh uh, Sheen. And then... <clears throat> build what you can. That's good. That's fine. Dante's doesn't like to get boots, but it's either cool, in my opinion. Uh, I would just go to Wolves. There's a very high chance that he took chickens anyways, and I don't give a fuck about top. And his chickens spawn. So I would actually... I would take your Wolves. You have time. I would take your Wolves, and I would take his chickens, and I would take his red. I don't even care about our red. I don't fucking care about top. Top is a fucking alien role to me anyways. Right now, so... So now you're gonna go to his chickens. Use this plant to your left. As you walk by, you should E here. You may have to hold mid after. Depends if Malzar shoves. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't even hold. Oh, okay. uh, maybe. Right. Yeah, we could kill him. We could kill him. Let's go kill him. We can kill him. So what you're going to do is... Mm, he's backing... No, he's not. We can just walk up. Okay. Q a bit, Q a bit, and then ult behind him, and then Q. Good, now push the wave in. Because he ult, remember, he killed TF in mid. Now go to uh, Scuttle. Graves' is red is a little sus without uh, ult, in my opinion. Okay. Like, you could do it, but it's kind of shady and not necessary. Let's smite this now. And then you're going to take the um, the plant. And when I'm saying smite it, try to time it for the 600, but yeah. Okay. Now, you have vision on red, so I would I would probably just start drag. Put a ward above you, okay. like in the bush, the pixel bush, if you can. In river, in river. That's fine. That's, oh, that'll work. River. Okay, so you probably step off of this now because he's coming down. Just step off of it. Because we got to be responsive to whatever. You no, know, you just, you can just leave. Okay. Yeah. We'd be responsive. We can lane gank. He probably have vision, so we could just do, we could do gromp here. While we wait. And you kind of keep your eye on bottom as you do this. Okay. So all you're doing is you're basically ahead. And we're just trying to stay more ahead without even without risking anything. Okay. Now, <clears throat> at this point, you could just shadow. If Grave shows up, you can show up. Okay. Use the bushes and try not to show. Yeah, and just chill. If great, now press B, press B. Good. That was actually really good that you pressed B. Because basically, you just want to time it so that if he shows up, you're here, but you also want to get back to farming, right? Yeah. Okay, you can cancel. Just wait. Now, when he runs by you, you're going to ghost and start queuing him. And then E. Yep, ghost, and then queue him, and then E. Perfect. And just wiggle around. Be wiggly, be wiggly. Because you never know. He might have ult. Yeah. Now, let's take a recall. Whenever you're playing Hack Room, just wiggle like a motherfucker in those fights. Just be super fucking weird. And you're you're still eating way too early. You could hold on and just kind of slow play it. Now, <clears throat> here, um, I I think chickens. Your chickens are up for sure. Your your red isn't, but your chickens are up. And then this top, uh, EDC. Oh, hold top. Just hold top then. Use the plant above you. Okay. Oh wait, I can't now. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Hold tab. What's this guy got? Uh, I would be tempted to ult behind him. So walk up to him and see if he gives you the ult. Okay, he's not giving it. 
Oh, it wouldn't be a coaching without a random AFK. Go ahead and push this out though quick. He's not here, so you got to push so we can go farm. All right, we don't care about managing his wave anymore. Now just go to golems. Now eat. You can still carry it if you're on point with your Hecarim. All right. We need just full clear. We're going to lose drag for this, but it is what it is. Kite to your right, kite to your right. Don't smite that early. It's dangerous because we don't know where Graves is. I assume he's bottom, but... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. She have a wave under tower? Yes, she does. So we're going to lose tower. There's no stopping that. We're, we're just going to let her become a monster. Now we'll go to wolves and we'll just try to create a win con through bottom. I mean, it's not going to be a win con with these guys, but we should at least try to protect our Varus as best we can. Try to kite down. You're racing to Varus, just so you know. Because, like, I'm just scared that he dies. Okay, cool. Now you know he's backing. You could uh, you could have started Gromp there. Just leave blue for the exit. Okay, so what this tells me is that in order for us to get drag, we're probably going to have to bust open bottom first. Um, the logic here is that the minute that you start drag, Gwen likely shows up because, because top of DC'd, right? So <clears throat> what we should do is we need to start fighting people. Uh, don't show. You got to sneak up. Yeah, use use like pinks, like that pink. You could ult them. You hit the bush and ult them. Hit the bush. Like, yeah, ult them. And now save your E. Okay, a little early on the E. That's okay. Just keep queuing. Okay, now back to drag. Don't chase too deep. A little messy because of the E usage, but that's okay. Yeah. So we I have to... to click on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, everybody fucks his combo up. Like, it's okay. When you practice it, you'll get better at it. So, we got Graves top looking at Twisted Fate, looking to dive. So, you're going to you're gonna take this, and then you're probably going to just take Scuttle and then take Graves' bot side. Okay. We can't fight Malzahar, I don't think. I think it's too, too dirty of a fight without ult. We have Triforce behind us, too. Okay, so what that means is you can actually dive bottom. Go to golems. If this guy shows up at bottom, we could dive. Okay, so kite down, smite this big golem, and start walking up to Jinx after you clear this. Uh, never mind, never mind. Oh, well, they killed... Okay, just protect this guy. Yeah, 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 it's good. Cool. If you can kill him, okay, good, good, good. Wiggle. Okay, he's not going to ult. So just... uh. Okay, you need to get out of here. Gwen's TPing behind you, so or it's yeah, hard. Just go up river, get take the plant, whatever we gotta do. And take a recall. You're on a pain. Good. I, we can fight Gwen now, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because you're pretty you're pretty strong. So you're gonna go Triforce and then Black Cleaver. Grab a pink. Cool. So what I would do here is I would actually go. Uh, I would go chickens up because you're not going to be able to stop them from taking that tower. You Basically, we've got to get big enough to where he can win duels. So chickens, and we got to fight Gwen. Okay. You can assist ping TF to, like, to stack the fight up so we don't lose, too. I don't think we'll ever lose, but you never know. Assist ping it up. Oh, your E was so early. I'm sad. Yeah, I would uh, start moving and fight her, yeah. You need to help him or he's going to die. Don't ult unless you have to. Mm, you have to. You have to. Yeah. Good. Push this out quick. Put a ward under you. Put a ward under you. Put a ward under you. Okay. Recall. Press B. As far as he's getting it. He's battling. Yeah. He, doesn't okay, he doesn't care. It's a 4v5. He doesn't give a shit. All right, so Black Cleaver, and then you're going to work your way down to... Uh, yeah, hold bot. You want to hold that wave. And then we got to get our jungle item upgraded. That's a good smite. Good choice. I agree with it. A lot of people think that it's not worth to do that, but a lot of gold to drop. All right. At least you're trying to get it all. Now let's go to Gromp. 
All right, so <clears throat> this guy likely has ult, so challenging is like open challenging Malzar normally doesn't end very well. So we're just gonna farm, and if we if he goes to like hit tower and we have our ult, we might be able to play it. But I'm I'm perfectly cool to just farm. We're in no rush. You have a good ADC. Um, I don't think we have to go for loopy fights. Now I would go for a loopy fight. So go behind him, touch the bushes next time as you rotate. Uh, if your team's not near you, it's very scary to try this. Okay, he's inting, I guess. You, you can just push. Skip skip over him. He's he's inting. He's dead here. Oh, skip him? Yeah, right. I, I mean, I think Varus kills him, but maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. He went under tower, and Lux is being weird. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah you need to... Okay, that's fine. Now push this out. That's on Lux, though. I mean, the idea was that Lux I had... had I thought Lux would just rotate, but whatever. So, take your recall. We can't give the inhib. Press B, press B. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, my. You're okay. Push. Actually, that's good. That's good. Push, 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 push. You really want to try to take this, um, this tower if we can. You have your ult to get out. You still here? Okay, you're here. Just lagging a little bit. Yeah, my PC's kind of shit. Oh, good. I just push this out. All right, so you could actually just ult this guy behind him and then ghost, and then you win. Because he won't have his ult, dude. He just used it. You shouldn't have it. You can't. You got to. Yeah, you got to just pull it. Okay, well, you owned us there. Okay. So your E, I hold it a little longer, though, because you rushed it a bit. But I think right. I, his stopwatch is good there. That's advanced, though, to check, like, stopwatch before. You'd have to, like, see that he has it first before you try it. But either way, your E came too soon. That's why your damage was so low. Okay. So I have to wait until he charges up all the way. Yeah, yeah. Play it. Like, play your move speed. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. you, you're... Everybody, when they play Hecarim, they screw the combo up because they think that, like... They basically use the E at like 40% or whatever. And if you just wait a second and then E him as you're like wiggling around, you also probably would have dodged some damage also. Okay. So let's uh, get to that, f to that fight for now because you've got a lot of CC. Okay. All right, now I would go to mid to the... Oh, I'll let you just kind of choose... I think okay. I'm just going mid. Yeah, mid to scuttle to rift. So E, you need to use your E. Just get rid of this shit quick. Keep pushing. Spam your Q. All right, go to rift and then take the scuttle away. Okay, just smite this. Save your E. Ooh, dangerous E. You may have to ult away if he gets you too low. Yeah. So that's why the E can't bump them. Now let's go to Golems. You're going to lose Rift, but you can hit the plant at him and be annoying. But let's go to uh, Golems. I'm not ever stealing this, so whatever. If you wanted a chance at stealing, you had to get out without your ult. Then you'd been able to plant over and go for it. But right. since we, yeah, since we use ult, we got to just give. So just kite up to this bush. Because we got to get to... Black Cleaver. Our team's dead here. Pre move your camera, though. Move your camera. Okay. Because we got to make sure that we make the right choices. We can go to Wolves. This is good that you're pathing. All right. We need to slam a recall and then get ready to defend. All right. So Black Cleaver... And then next item, this game is probably going to be Force of Nature, judging by their comp, because they're very uh, AP heavy. You can just kill, and if Jinx by herself, I'd kill her. You see that? Look at Jinx. Look at Jinx. Don't tunnel on this. Jinx mid? Yeah, she was. Just go around her. Go Use the bush. E, 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 E. She's so low. She's level nine. Take it and run if you can. Now, in that spot, you should not be ulting. There's no need to ult. Because right. she's level nine, right? Again, I feel like I wouldn't have caught uh, caught up to. Her oh, you would have game. absolutely. You, you, she's you have fucking Triforce Black Cleaver. Your pet's upgraded. E's good. You just E that, and then All let right. the E because you 
again, everybody screws this up. Everybody basically plays their E so fast. But if you like slow down and just let it let it play, folk, no, fuck these guys. We're gonna try to win. And when you come out, ghost and E onto uh Malzahar is what I would do. Yeah, ghost, ghost, ghost. Yeah, now wiggle away. Good, good, good. Oh, you didn't turn your W on. Oh, brother. Okay, if we can get out, that'd be dope. W, W, Q. Nice try. I've been you owned you. So, not quite ready for the big 4v5 carry yet, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. I, I think, I think, um, I think you could have killed this Malzahar even with the, the, uh, stopwatch. I'll, I'll check it though. I'll see if I'm wrong. Like, I don't think you realize how fast you can rotate to her there. So, look at this. So you're going to fight this guy. So you need to just open with your ult and just smite him right away is what I would do. So you like ult and smite him. I wanted to get the, the Q stacks off first. That's fine too, yes. But when you go, okay. watch. It's like here, when he steps up, I would have ulted here. And instead of eing, I would have just ulted and smited him mid-flight, if that makes sense. Would would the fear still get him? Yes. Because he has his shield. Yeah, that's why you're smiting in the air. Wait, the smite gets rid of it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'll be honest, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm actually not sure about the interaction. I think Dante's might know. But I think if you cue him right as you're in flight also, you might... Uh, you might fear him but i'm about 90 percent sure that if you smite in the like right here you'll get rid of it i can check that though uh Actually, point yeah, two five so seconds after taking damage or blocking one of those effects so like point two five seconds from here to here is not you see what i'm saying like you're still gonna land it yeah, yeah. Oh, i mean or alternatively you could have just Literally just walked at him and smited him and waited. And then you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or touch the brush and smite him and wait, then ult. If if it's something that's like too close or too awkward. Right? But the point is, is that like you just need to bump him off of the tower and then E and then you'll bump him off of the tower again. He would have never killed you in a million years. And I was right on the ult timing. You can see it here. It's 12 seconds left. You see that? Yeah. So he had ulted your teammate up here. And this is the type of stuff that if you're paying attention, when we were doing this awkward fight and I was like, okay, just skip him. So here's my logic. The skipping, he looks like he's inting here. He thinks he dies, so he just keeps walking, right? So if he keeps walking and your teammates are humans, he would this, this guy would just turn around and kill him with Varus is normally what happens, but he's obviously blind. So at that point, you needed to just go and help. Okay. But either way, we know that he had to ult Varus because that's the only way in the world that he kills Varus there, right? Because Malzar is not killing. Malzar doesn't just kill people by himself without ulting. You know, it's kind of kind of rare. So <clears throat> you push out bottom. Now I have you push out. It's kind of awkward because they keep threatening the siege. But then, like right here, you know he doesn't have ult and he's now TP'd. So now you can just challenge him happily. So your problem was your E came too soon, so you can kind of see what you do here. Did you see me yesterday go over Hecarim? No. Oh, beautiful. I'll show you this, the tricks then. So like here, this E is a waste. So let's, let's do what I did. I did this demo yesterday, but I'd like to do it again real quick before we get into another game, okay? 